Hi there. <laughs> what, what are you I'm just <laughs> waiting for my business part. Uh, I'm sorry, we just got a new camera and uh, we're practicing with it. Yes, yes. So, hello. So, we usually do our podcast in this room. <laughs> But um, we're, today we're doing on the road book events because that's Peggy's in my business. And Peggy, why don't you tell them what on the road book events for those who don't know? Okay. And also, just Judy's not here because she is. First of all, she's working, and second of all, she is not part of on the road book events. So she has no time to that's do anything right. else. That's right. Which we understand. So on the road book events, Carol and I started back in. Uh, late 2019, mm -hmm. after we closed the bookstore, a few months after we closed our bookstore, we cl closed on June 13th, then and I it, think we started. In, right, the bookstore is called Churn of the Court True Books and Wine, it was in uh, Rockville Center. Uh -huh. So we still had a market in Rockville Center. Mm -hmm. but and connections <laughs> with venues. Right. So um, after a few months, uh, Carol and I missed being in the business of selling books, yeah. believe it or not. <laughs> it's a very difficult business. Yeah. Um, so we came up with On the Road Book Events. And what we do is we secure uh, book signings from authors and publishers. We go through the publishers most of the time. And we do book signings and author events in off-site venues. One of the venues that we uh, use most of the time right. is uh, Imoloi University. For large events, we use the Madison Theater. And for smaller events, we use the Larini Room mm -hmm. there. And um, the, the staff there at uh, Madison Theater, they're awesome. And they love doing book events. Yeah. You know, most of the times they do musical theater. Right. But they yes. just love doing book events. So um, so that's what we do. Yep. We, just, we do events in libraries. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know. yep. um, we did uh, an event in, uh, well, what happened was, though, when we did start on the road book events, then COVID showed its lug ugly head. Oh, and so the, first, the first couple of events that we <laughs> booked were in March and April of 2020. <laughs> And of course, we had to cancel them because yeah. everything closed down. And if so you remember, we're really lucky. <laughs> really, we really are. Yeah. Well, the first one that we had to cancel off was the first. What was was with a um, one of our staff members, our co -wor our worker at Turn of the Court Show was with Jen, mm -hmm. and we yeah. had to cancel because yeah. of COVID because nobody would want to come to an event. Yeah, Jen uh, writes uh, graphic novels. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, so now we're back on track, and we did an event at um, the Hayes Theater, which is like located in Malloy University with Nelson DeMille, mm -hmm. and that was a good event. We had two hundred people. I got to interview him. Yeah, and he said he was happy and willing to have me interview him again for his next book. So, and I think that's coming out in June. So we'll yeah. see what happens. I, I think it's his son's book, and he he might have collaborated with him, I or don't know, he's I'm just the, touring with him. Yes. And he told us that he told us back in when did we do that event? It might in be November. It might be. I'm thinking of his paperback of um, that was on the Italyce because it's just him listed for his event. So we'll have to research. Oh, that. okay. Well, anyway, he really yeah. loved the event that we you know we got a very good turnout. Carol is an excellent interviewer. You really are. You're very good at it. You know. Note to self, I, Peggy complimented me. You're very no, no, good. No, thank you. You could have been Barbara Walters if you would. <laughs> You ask very good questions. You get well, insight, you. and you, you make uh, the interviewee feel comfortable. You know why? And relax. I think sometimes my questions are a little different because I look at it from an author's point of view, mm. and because yeah, that's I'm a true. writer, and I, yeah. I, I'm curious about another writer and their whole process and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And a lot of people that come to these events are want to be what writers so they're interested in these questions exactly too. and also from that bookseller's point of view too yes because we see you know uh, all the sides of the business really as a bookseller some of it's bad you know yeah some of it like the the side where people don't like to spend money on a book yeah they that's wanna, the bad part they want to come to the event they want to take advantage of that but they mm -hmm. can get their books cheaper elsewhere if you know what yeah. i mean yeah but so. unfortunately we just had to have an event cancel um, due to COVID, and that was with Jasmine Chan um, for the School for Good Mothers, 
And I was so, we were both so excited. I, to I stuff. know. I love that book. Yeah. I, I, if you get a chance, pick it up. It's a, a great story, a little disturbing, somewhat dystopian, but in the near future. Right. It's, right. Um, right. it's Well, if, if you watched our podcast, mm -hmm. Wildflowers Podcast Books, Booze and Banter, I reviewed the book. So be sure to look for that one. And we talk yeah. about the book right. in, yeah. in, in detail. So that, um, and we may end up booking her again when yeah. she, she had to cancel a lot of her tour which I'm sure was very upsetting to her yeah but yeah but it, it was the paperback release of a book it mm -hmm. actually came out last year yeah um, but I was really looking forward to meeting her and I I think she has such an original idea oh my gosh. it was a yeah. really a really very good book it was a page turner and that's really unique to have a, an original I idea because a lot of writers think that they're going to have an original idea and usually it's been done before, maybe yeah. in a different way, but hers yeah. is really yeah. very unique. Yeah, well, but so. we have another event that's actually coming up. Let's hope nothing yeah, cancels right. it. Stay healthy, Mary. Yes, <laughs> so we have Mary Calvey, um, and she is a journalist and she does CBS News uh, on very early morning, and she's also on Inside Edition, but she's got a new book coming out on February 14th, 14th Valentine's Day perfect if a poem could live and breathe a novel of Teddy Roosevelt's first love got to read this it's such a treat I felt like I was in that time period and I know I've said this before but I'll say it again I love learning about um, a president before he even is thinking about becoming a president in his life. And she's done so much research for this. Yeah, it is fiction, right. but she yes. does the research and she's got all the facts in there. When we, we did a couple events uh, with her for uh, Dear George, mm -hmm. Dear George, Dear Mary, it was about George Washington's first love. And it wasn't his wife. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Um, but she actually secured letters that they wrote to each other. Yeah. She brought them with her. She passed them around the audience. She does a PowerPoint presentation. She really does her homework. Yeah. And when we were doing events with that book, and that was in 2019 that just, yeah that was just before um, COVID. 2019 yeah. she told us at that event that she was working on this one about theodore roosevelt yeah. and i told her i said please let us know <laughs> because i live in oyster bay and if you live on long island you know that uh oyster bay Sagamore Hill was the summer White House when Theodore right. Roosevelt was and you president. You can't miss that big statue. Whenever that's, I go visit you, I see the that's big That's right. Statue. That town is all about yeah. you know, Theodore yeah. Roosevelt. So she's so. going to be at um, the Lorini Room in Malloy University and doing the presentation. But we're going to go to her house on the 13th because she's having a pre-pub launch. Yep. And that's mm. going to be um, quite fun. Yeah, I know. Sure. I think it's going to be a yeah. lot of fun. So. Yeah. So oh, that's good. Yeah, we'll see. And on the 15th, we're doing the event at Malloy, right? Right. February yes. 15th, right. 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Tickets are available. You can buy tickets at the door, too. Right. But um, we want to make sure that we have enough books for all the tickets purchased. So, um, Do you want to mention something about how difficult it is to get people to come to events and to buy the book? It is very difficult. And... You know, I do understand there were points in my life, like when my kids were growing up, I didn't have a lot of extra money either, uh, so I couldn't buy a lot of books. But, you know, we spend so much money on so many other things. I yeah. mean, just DoorDash itself, you know, <laughs> instead of throwing something on the stove and uh, spending all that money on DoorDash and, yeah. um, you know, just the things that we buy, like the expensive TVs, the cell phones, I mean, that, that yeah. could cost up to a thousand dollars. Right. And a book, a paperback book, is generally $17.99. Uh, when usually most books are released in hardcover for the first year that they're available, and they're usually around thirty dollars, twenty-eight ninety-nine, twenty-nine ninety-nine. And to me, 
That's not a lot of money, but people do like squawk about it. Oh, no, I can get know, it cheaper. I'll elsewhere. go to the library, right. which is and, great. Libraries are great. Yes, yes, I love the library too. But well, you know, if you want to go to an event and meet the author and hear about their journey and get an autographed book, you know, I, mean, I don't just, think it's a use, lot of money. You used a keyword, an event. Yeah, and that's, and that's what, what it, it is. Absolutely, and and most times this the ticket price includes refreshments, and Mary is going to. And have it Rachel's. also includes the book. Exactly. You know, when you buy a ticket. Yeah. So and you know, it's cheaper than going to the movies. If you go to yeah. the movies, what are you paying for a ticket? Yeah. 15 bucks now, between 10 we're, and 15. We're on our soapbox now. We yeah, are, no, really. And then no. you have to buy popcorn, and you well, usually not well, buy yourself. You don't have to. Well, I, I know, you don't have to, but, but you probably but will. You will. So, but anyway, it's very difficult to sell a book, so. And, and it's good for your community. It's good to keep books alive. It's so important. But yeah. And we did talk about on our, um, I think it was our last podcast, uh, Wildflowers Podcast, Books, Booze, and Banter, we talked about bookstores and how we mm -hmm. got in the bookstore business and just what they bring to the community. Yeah. And so that, and people responded to that. So that's a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. But we're going to also be speaking of okay. libraries. Yes. We have an event that'll be, we're going to be doing in the city, New York Public Library with Alex Prudhomme. And the book is called Dinner with the President, mm -hmm. and that's at 6.30 on March 22nd, so be sure to look that up. Do you want to tell them a little bit who this author is? Oh, uh, yes. He, um, he is an American journalist. Mm -hmm. He has other books, but I think that they're all nonfiction. One of them is about hydrofracking, uh, but one of them he collaborated with Julia Childs to write her a memoir. Uh, he is her grand nephew grand is that the right term yeah. she's his great aunt so he's, he's the grand, grand nephew he's grand yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway <laughs> julia child was his grand aunt and um he collaborated with that book and that movie julie and julia part of that movie is based on that memoir okay. and um so this book, Dinner with the President, that's what he'll be talking about at the New York Public Library. We will be there with the books. This is not a ticketed event, so you can just come, but we're hoping that you're going to love what he had to say, that you'd want to buy the book. So here's a little bit about the, the book. The author is probably hoping that you'll yeah. buy the book, too. That's yeah. the whole point of doing a book tour. Exactly. <laughs> Good point. So Dinner with the President is about the politics of food and food of politics. It examines the primal impulse to break bread together together, even those with whom we disagree, and how that impacts affairs of state and sometimes quirky tastes of first families. So I think I might end up buying this book. Yeah, I know. It looks like, um, I, I love the cover of the book too. Yeah. And I'm hoping that there's a lot of photographs in it. Yeah, but that's hard. I would really, you should see if you could get a copy of the book I for us try. before the event so right. we could go through it. I will so, try. She's going yeah, to so. It's the history of American food politics and 26 presidents from George Washington starving at Valley Forge in 1777 to Donald Trump's burger banquets <laughs> and Joe Biden's performance enhancing ice cream in 2022. Oh. So it should be very interesting. Yes. No, absolutely. An interesting talk. So you could uh, register for that event on the New York Public Library's website. Right. So. Right. What's the name of the part of the library? Well, so I, I, can, I, I know can't I can never remember. pronounce the name you know, either. But look, if you look on his website, um, Alex Prudhomme, P R U D apostrophe H O M M E, you'll see. I'm sure he's going to have the event listed. If and not. the New York Public Library will also have yeah. it listed. Yeah, definitely. And if you get a chance, go into their um, their store. The New York Public Library oh. store. Oh my God! Is, they have such nice things there. Yeah. It's a beautiful store. Love it. So, Love yeah. it. Absolutely. But you know, we those are the two upcoming events, and we know where we'll be doing other events going down the road. So check our website on the road book events, mm -hmm. and also check out Madison Theater because they host other events besides yeah. a book events with us. Right. So check those out right. too. So this is yeah. a brief, you know, yeah. conversation with Judy, not Judy. Oh, no, that I'm one. not Judy. She's not Judy. I'm not She's, Judy. Who are you? Judy. 
Peggy, Peggy and Carol. I'm not tall like Judy. <laughs> Judy <laughs> towers over us when she, she sits does. there. She does so. for Judy. But she, she's <laughs> awesome. But anyway. So she always you. says that she feels like Hagrid. <laughs> So, so yeah, so check it out. We're just yeah. you know we're we're trying this new camera, and I think I like it. So yeah, um, yeah. so there there you have That's it. it. Perfect. That's all. Okay. Right. So oh no, we didn't say about our next podcast. <gasps> so our next podcast will be recording on Sunday afternoon. Uh, Judy will be here. Yes. And um, we'll probably publish it on Monday. Right. Or Tuesday. This is a new camera, so I hope everything goes oh, smoothly. Okay, so okay. I'll give me a little extra time. Um, <laughs> and our next podcast, uh, I will be, uh, I have the subject right. this time, and I am going to be talking about the history of Valentine's Day, since it's a couple of days before Valentine's Day. Is and there going to be any surprises? About the history of Valentine's Day? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I found out something about it that I thought was quite interesting. Don't tell me now. No, I'm not. And I said, I don't know, do other people know about this? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, okay. I was, and I, it, it's kind of like a fun, quirky thing. Oh, good. So, um, so that would be fun. interesting. I have to, I don't have anything red. So I'm going to go to Old Navy and see if they have a Valentine oh, okay. t-shirt. When, when you said red, I thought you meant R-E-A-D. I'm like, you don't have anything oh. red. <laughs> oh, no, no. okay. And the on, color. who's doing, you're doing the book? Yes, I'll be doing the book. And I'll be talking about if a poem can live in the room. Oh, okay. So that, that'll be awesome. So. So, yeah, more detail. and Judy will be doing the wine that day. Yes, absolutely. So there you have so it. So that's it. So we will hopefully you'll be seeing us when we publish our podcast on Monday. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so Peggy has to get up to go turn off the camera. So it leaves me sitting here, <laughs> twiddling her thumbs. Twiddling my thumbs.